What's up, YouTube family? Thank you for tuning in today. We're checking out this modern transitional home. This house is up for sale. If you guys have questions, just drop them in the comments. You know, I'll get that information over to you. I love that this elevation has 19 windows just on the front of the house. You have a clay tile roof, not to mention a portico shade, which in this case is gonna be used for a third car garage. I love the stucco on the elevation of this home as well as the, how manicured the landscaping is with the rocks. Tile entryway, big iron door, reflective glass. That's a floating staircase, black iron rod balusters. What do you guys think? Drop it in the comments. I love the space in this family room. Double sliding glass doors, tile floor to ceiling fireplace. Love the built-ins with the lighting. And I just think the spacing is, is, is great. TV up above that linear fireplace, elevated ceiling. Somebody come in Dream Kitchen for me. You got the stainless steel freezer and refrigerator. Both standalone. Great coffee bar. I really love this island. I'm noticing drawers and cabinets on the sides of the island. Chef's kitchen, you got the six burner cooktop, heavy duty oven, not to mention commercial grade range. Love the backsplash. How do you guys feel about this kitchen? There's your drawers. I'm excited for you to see this butler's pantry ample storage cabinets built-ins i love how it transitions into this prep area where you have your dishwasher sink as well as double oven can't forget the window for natural light and i just want to add that i think this house is very functional and i love the layout the laundry room is equipped with a sink so it's a plus storage builder was very thoughtful when they added the window in the laundry room okay across from the family room and kitchen you're gonna have this guest bathroom as well as guest bedroom Great space in the shower, tiled all the way up to the ceiling. And hey, please stick around because I'm going to show you exactly where both of those sliding doors will take you. Have to show you this half bath. I love the accent wall as well as the floating vanity with the lighting underneath. Now this could be your media room. Again, this has access to the outdoors. Love that you have another accent wall. A lot of storage from the cabinets. Where you see those burglar bars, you can turn it into your personal bottle room. You just have to finish it out, kind of set it up the way you want it.
as we head over to the owner suite, one thing that I can truly appreciate about this design is that it has like its own wing for the owner suite. We have what could be considered as an office, glass sliding door, floor to ceiling tile, linear firebox. Since this room has closets, it would be considered a bedroom. However, I always enjoy a space that I can get multiple uses or multiple functions out of. We have a glass sliding door. I put a TV on the wall. I don't know why, but I just feel like a TV would be nice there. I immediately noticed the tray ceiling with the lighting, four points of contact for natural light, and not to mention the glass sliding door making outside accessible. Now this bathroom really impresses me. Standalone or soaker tub, you have an extended floating vanity, beautiful mirror, I love the sconset lights. This was the treat for me right here though. The shower, you got double hooks, double seats, and double shower heads. Love the floating vanity with the lights. I think the lights really elevate the porcelain tile. And the closet has so much storage. You got the island in the middle with the pullouts. You got the built-ins. Drop in the comments what y'all think. Well, I know from my experience in new construction, floating staircases are not cheap. They can run you 50, 60 grand, so definitely a hefty upgrade from the builder. Bedroom two upstairs, does have double closets. It also features mirrors. To me, gives flex room. Subscribe to the channel for me if you guys are getting value, if you're enjoying this house tour. This room kind of has like a linen storage. About six different cabinets there.
So I'm gonna take you guys outside. I'm gonna show you the Porta Cache. Unfortunately, I don't have the keys to enter, but I'm gonna show you the inside of what's behind the gate. Love the stylish gate there. You have your breezeway. This Porta Cache makes me say that it's set up for a third car because of the garage door. Love the landscaping. The Spanish tile and stucco looks great together. I love how this angle showcases the triple wall of glass. We're gonna step out to the outdoor living. Love the tile floor. Looks like you have a polished bead board ceiling. Those double glass doors from the family room out. Fireplace. Gated pool, imagine that. This outdoor living is covered, by the way. Now over on this side, this is going through your dining room out. Your second outdoor living is where you're gonna cook at. You're gonna actually have your outdoor grill. Ample spacing in your backyard. Granite countertop outside, great look of the pool. Here's another angle of those drop-down screens that covers your outdoor living. If you'd like more information about this home, all you have to do is go over to the description where my contact will be. Remember guys, my name is Spencer Howe. I am your Dallas-Fort Worth Realtor. And until the next time, y'all stay blessed and I will see you guys soon, all right?